Hey guys, Blue Delta Wolf here. This is Magic the Gathering 2014 and this is the Mind Maze Promotional Suite 60. So there are 35 cards. Now there have been 5 new ones unlocked. If you haven't figured out how to do that, check out my How to Unlock the Extra 5 Cards video. And I'll take you into my brand new Suite 60 of this deck. So, I, uh, I, I listened to all of the comments from the last one. And a lot of people were saying that my Sweet 60 was uh, not fast enough for this blue aggro kind of deck. So I've kind of changed it now and uh, I'd say it runs a lot faster. It's uh, 60 cards, 24 creatures, 14 other and 22 land. Nice even numbers. The mana curve is obviously very front heavy. So 9 ones, 15 twos, 9 threes, 2 fours, 1 5 and 2 sixes. So let's run through it. Jace's Phantasm, 1 for 1 1, has the chance of being a 5 5. And it's an illusion. Phantasmal Bear, 1 for 2-2, two, two, illusion. This card is amazing, Veiled Sentry. I really like it because it starts as an enchantment, but when the opponent casts a spell, um, he becomes a creature based on that creature's mana cost. So it puts the enemy off casting bigger spells. It's really, really good. Unsummon, I wish I could have had four of these, but I couldn't quite fit them in, so I only put three. Phantasmal Image, this card is amazing in this deck. It really is. If the enemy has a creature that you can't beat, you can copy it. Or, you can just copy your Lord of the Unreal, which is the next best card in the deck. And this card is just amazing. All your illusions get 1-1 one, one, and are hexproof. So there are 4 in my deck, but you can have 8. So all of your illusions will be buffed to 8-8. Eight, eight, including these guys, because they become illusions. Even though they copy Lord of the Unreal, they then become an illusion and get buffed by each other Lord of the Unreal. So you can have some crazy combos with that. <coughs> Crovacan Mist, its power and toughness equal to the number of illusions. Gossamer Phantasm, 2 for 2-1, another illusion. Ovenize is a great defense spell. If the enemy has a huge creature buffed or anything, you can wait for it to attack and then make it lose all abilities and it becomes a 0-1. So, really, really strong. Counter spell, the best counter I've seen so far. 2 for a counter is amazing. Phantom Warrior, unblockable illusion. Illusory Angel, I still have this in my deck. A lot of people think it's not very good. It's 3 for a 4-4, four, four, but you have to make it the second spell you've cast this turn. So, cast a bear, and then it's 4 for a 4-4. Four, four. I do like it because it's flying, and it's an illusion, and it's got gorgeous graphics. I love the artwork on it, and I love angels, so there you go. Blind Phantasm, illusion. Illusionary Servant, illusion. Halcyon Gaze is amazing. 3 for a 4-4 four, four illusion. Now it only comes on to play whenever you cast a creature spell, so it actually sits on the sidelines. But whenever you cast a creature spell, it comes onto the field, and it has haste. Well, it doesn't say it has haste, but it does. And it becomes a 4-4 flyer. Now if you have any Lord of the Unreals down, it gets buffed, of course, because it's an illusion. So it can attack, and then it sits back on the sidelines, and it's safe there for a while, unless the, the opponent has creature remo uh, enchantment removal. So yeah, this is a really, really strong card. And it, it just... It just makes your deck so much more versatile, if you ask me. Claustrophobia, a great defense card. Tap target creature, it doesn't untap. Dream Fracture, another great counter spell. Its controller draws a card and you draw a card. It's a bit bad that the controller draws a card as well, but at least you get to draw a card and counter, so it's good. You could, you could possibly take that out and put two Frost Breath instead. Frost Breath is also amazing. Tap two target creatures, they don't untap during the next untap step. So that can be a game winning card there. Phantasmal Dragon, a massive 5 5 illusion. Sorry, Phantom Beast. Cost the same as Dragon, and only a 4 5, but still a good card. Mind Control, you know, you need that card in your deck always. Draining Welk, obviously, counter a high mana cost card. And this becomes a very, very powerful illusion, flying as well, with flash. So it's really, really strong. And Royal Elemental, it's the only card in my deck, that the creature that's not an illusion. But I absolutely love this card. It, it just wins games, simple as that. Cost 6 for a 3-2. Whenever you play land, you take control of any enemy creature you like. So there you go, guys. That is an amazing 60. Just the cards that didn't make it, this is a new card. I didn't... To be honest, I don't see how this can even be good at all. It must be a very specific deck that this will be good in. Uh, it says, Miramad Phantasm's owner shuffles it into his or her library. If that player does, he or she reveals cards from the top of that library until a card named Miramad Phantasm is revealed. 
The player puts the card onto the battlefield and all other cards revealed this way go into the graveyard. You're milling yourself just to summon the same card that you already had on the field. I really don't understand that. It seems like a terrible card to me. Sorry if I'm wrong, guys. I've been wrong in the past, but I just cannot see the point of that card. Ominescence, it, it costs 10. It's very, very expensive, but it is very, very strong. I don't want it in my deck. Twincast is another great card. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. That was better in Talran's deck. This isn't a very um, sorcery or instant <coughs> oriented deck, so it's no good. Cronooza. I really wanted to put this in and I still might. I have played with it and it's been slow or been removed straight away and I have played with it and it's had six or seven copies of itself out, so I don't know. That's a, that's a maybe, guys. Cronoza is a good card, but I haven't got it in right now. This is a new card. You pay one life and exile a blue card from your hand rather than play, pay the Force of Will's mana cost. Counter target spell. It's good. It costs five to counter, or you have to exile a card and one life. I don't know. I just left it out, to be honest. This is another new card in this deck. Sphinx, Sphinx of Magosi. It's got draw, and it's flying 6-6. Six, six. It's a good card. I didn't have room for it. Same for this one. I really wanted to put this one in too. Uh, it's 6 for a 4-4. Four, four. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent puts the top 5 cards of his or her library into the graveyard. You can you can cast an instant or sorcery from it without paying its mana cost. It's too situational. It's too risky. And paying 6 for a 4-4 four, four without that effect, I wouldn't do it. So I said no. <clears throat> now these are illusions, and they are unblockable, but I took them out. I just didn't want them in my deck. I don't know why. They just didn't fit. Incursion Specialist. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, Incursion Specialist gets two until the end of turn and can't be blocked. That's okay, I guess. I mean, he becomes a 3-3 unblockable. You have to cast two spells to get it out. He is not an illusion, though, so I didn't play him. <coughs> Aetherplasm. Whenever he blocks a creature, you can return him to your hand. If you do, you can put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield, blocking that creature. No, that's fine. But two situational and four for a 1-1, one, one. no thank you. I know it doesn't work like that, but I still didn't want it. Divination, never run that. Uh, this is... no, that's not a new card. Leline Phantom. When he deals combat damage, return it to your hand. That's okay. Um, not a bad card. It, it is an illusion, so it does get buffed. But returning it to your hand all the time and then resummoning it for five... I didn't really feel like uh, playing that card this time around. So here's my fast aggro blue deck, guys. It does have a bit of blue in it. When I say blue, I mean counter and bounce and stuff. And trickiness. But it's not as good as some other blue decks I've played, to be honest. I prefer Talrans from the last one, and I prefer Jaces from the last one as well. But this deck is very, very strong, and it's still my favourite deck in the game. So I've got a very quick showcase for you. I did have a little play around with this uh, Sweet 60, and uh, that's coming up next. So yeah, this is a, a quick showcase of my Mind Maze Sweet 60. As you can see, I have a lot going on here. I've um, been playing around with Ajani as always. And again, he's just summoned Admonition Angel. And he's enchanted it with Armored Ascension, which is actually amazing. 31-31. So uh, I have both of my Veiled Sentries down. 12 and 9. I've been getting tokens from his creature that I stole. Johnny's Chosen, every time I cast enchantments like these, I've got two Halcyon Gaze, but they won't be active this turn, which is a shame, because they're about 12-12 each. Um, I've got my Royal Elemental up, which is amazing. Um, as you can see, I have a lot going on. I've taken his Dawn Elemental. I've controlled him 100% of the way. Uh, he hasn't had a chance. I've kept him at one life for most of the game. So... Um, most of my creatures are um, hexproof because of I think I have seven Lord of the Unreals down at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A couple of them are eight eights because they're affected by all of the other ones. So yeah, it's not a bad little showcase of my Sweet Sixty. It runs very smoothly. Lots of control. Very high aggro. Got mo most of my lands down. So I'm just going to do one more thing now and ovenize that thing. Okay, apparently that's a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> there we go, it's the enchant it is. So, I'm going to attack with everything now.
Yeah, not a bad little showcase. I'm really, I'm really, really pleased with my Sweet Sixty. <coughs> there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. It really, really helps. I'm just going to quickly check to see if my highest hit has been updated. Most damage one in it, that was probably 155. The last one didn't register for some reason. So there we go, guys. Not bad. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take it easy.